side. He's in trouble. He is hit immediately and gobbled up in the backfield. And that pocket could only hold so long. We label ourselves the Silverbacks. Nobody can really mess with us. We're the anchors of the defense. When we come in, we shut everything down. The D-line, the tip of the spear for the Virginia defense, and a big reason why the Cavaliers have been shutting down opponents. The name of the game is versatility for Bronco Mendenhall, and the linemen of his 3-4 have numerous responsibilities. Each is expected to be a master of all trades. Instructing the big men up front is first-year D-line coach Vic Soto. The 30-year-old from Oceanside seized a great opportunity upon the departure of Ruffin McNeil passing on his expertise and familiarity with the Mendenhall system. I grew up in San Diego and played high school there and then was Coach Mendenhall's first recruit when he, when he took over. It was the day after he took over. I, was in my house and, and my mom said, you're playing for that man. And so that's kind of how it all went down. And I think I brought different side, a sort of experience as far as where I played. I played in the defense and played in the NFL for six different teams. So my experience doesn't come from years of playing or coaching, but it comes from being around really great staffs. And so I know the ins and outs of it. And I wrote one thing on the board when I took over and that was clarity breeds confidence. And so I think there were a lot of things that were unclear last year. And, and if you look at how we're playing now, I think they're just playing fast and it really gets to feature each individual athlete and each D lineman when they know what they're doing because they can put their own little spice on how they take on blocks and how they defeat blocks and how they get to the quarterback. And I'm not one to put a D lineman in one certain mold like you have to be Chris Long or you have to be this guy or you have to be this guy. I just want to take whatever you do well and make it better. Soto's energy on the field and sideline is as infectious as it is obvious, but it's a teaching style that ensures clarity that perhaps has the biggest effect on this year's D lineman. This defense makes sense. Boom, boom. That makes sense. Boom, boom. See that? Right here and coming around. Does that make sense? What I want you to do is here. You go bang. He's kind of like seeking confirmation from us that we understand what he's saying. And when you say it so much, it's like, okay, like, yeah, I get it. You know, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You're like, yeah, it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, then you're going against what you feel that you should be doing, right? And so for me, it was just making sure everything made sense. Like, it doesn't make sense that I'm going to have you go this way for this play and you're not a decoy. You're still defeating a block. And if you defeat him, you're going to make the play. On defense, it's different than offense. It's not, it's not set up for one guy to make a play. It is reactionary, it is striking, extending, and all that in order to get you to the point where you have the opportunity to make a play. First and foremost, he's very energetic, you know, with us, and he's very passionate about what he teaches. And it's very reflective upon our performance, as you can see. I would say the thing that stands out the most about Vic is his experience. Like, and it wasn't too long ago. His words and what he's teaching us has credibility. And um, that's what sticks out the most to us, and we trust him. So my energy is what I remember Coach Mendenhall being when I was first playing, is, as he was engaged and running around, and he's getting a little older now. There's guys that are still playing in the NFL that I've played with. I still have a ton of teammates that are playing, so it's not like I'm that far removed from playing, actually playing, and I still get that rush. You know, I just don't raise soft. Like, I just, that's, that's, that's against my nature, is anything soft. And so changing the mentality of, of a silverback, silverback gorilla, and showing them images of guys that I think were the hardest dudes in, in sports and giving them um, keys and, and, and mental cues to, to bring them back down when they're tired and then bring them back down when things are going crazy to just focus, man. Just focus on the small things and then everything else will fall into place. It's a mindset that you gotta have as well. It's called the silverback mindset that you gotta have when you enter the trenches. You know, it's not meant for everybody. It's mano y mano. You know, sometimes mano versus two, you know? <laughs> so it's like, hey, you gotta be a man. You just gotta love it. Full understanding of the system and mentality has produced great results for Soto and his students. Results that are as rewarding to coach as they are to player. Wins are earned. Wins are earned Monday through Friday in the game week, and, and that's kind of what we hold them to, and Saturday should be the easy day. I love my guys, and I love when they do what they're supposed to do, and I love when they're happy, and the only way they're happy is when they're doing what they're doing, what they're supposed to do, and how they're supposed to do it, how we practice it, because it all makes sense, right? So, so that's it.